Hey there, our friends, what is going on, everybody? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's False Club, where we are helping people increase their wealth in Bitcoin and generate profits and income in crypto in a variety of ways. And today in Crypto Show, this Thursday, we have a lot of bullish news for Bitcoin. We're seeing Bitcoin soaring and gaining over $700 on the day. We see the excitement for the up and coming May Bitcoin halving that is just around the corner where the whole crypto community is talking about that and people are getting very excited about what is going to happen with the bitcoin halving i want to talk about that today and i want to show you what i'm seeing right now on the charts and what are the potential next moves for bitcoin and we have a lot of cool uh, news coming up as always for bitcoin so let's dive right in we are seeing right now a bitcoin is trading at seven thousand four hundred and fifty seven dollars which is four point seven eight percent um higher than it was 24 hours ago the whole uh, cryptocurrency market cap is right now at 213 billion dollars uh, a lot of green today uh, stellar is up 15.58 percent so congratulations for all the stellar holders out there uh we have the bigger gainers for today this is actually stellar uh, digibyte is up 13 percent looking at the bitcoin price we are rising for the sixth week in a row which is absolutely amazing after this crash of march 12th we did see a quite a comeback for bitcoin over double uh, the price and we are currently at uh, the critical level at seventy five hundred dollars are we are going to crush it in the immediate term this is the question that uh is yet to see we we bounce right at a 21 uh week moving averages right there this orange line and looking at the daily right now we are getting to the overbought territory right now and we are already there at the four hourly chart so right now we are looking at whether bitcoin is going to correct a little bit downwards or it's going to consolidate into the $7,500 area and then move and continue its move up into the $9,000 area. Now you can see the future, uh, the futures uh, for the CME has cre uh, created a gap at around $9,000. You can see it right there. So those gaps usually tend to fill sooner rather than later. So we are heading towards that. The question is, are we going to pull back a little bit right now? or we are going to uh, continue straight to the $8,500 area, which is the next target for Bitcoin. So this is pretty, pretty exciting. What we are seeing right now, this breakout um, that you know we have been uh, breaking out out of this uh, triangle over here. So this is good to see uh, with finally some amount of volume, which is right there it's pretty high amount of volume as the oil markets and traditional markets and stock stock markets are also increasing so we do see we do see some color uh, correlation uh in that uh and uh, i personally believe that we do going to see some kind of a, a correction over here for bitcoin and then moving upwards now it is no doubt for me that we are going up for bitcoin the question is um you know how it's going to look like over the next uh, days and week we are probably not going to get straight to the moon right <laughs> we are going to have some corrections of course and and red candles and the uh, bitcoin going down but overall the trajectory is uh, is quite uh encouraging for bitcoin we're all getting exciting for the Bitcoin halving event, which will happen in 18 and a half days on 12th of May, where the supply of Bitcoin is going to be cut in half and the miners who are supporting the Bitcoin community will receive for each block of transactions from the Bitcoin network a reward of 6.25 Bitcoins instead of 12 and a half Bitcoins which is the event that happens once every four years and you see on the chart if we look at the weekly i've shown you a couple of times now those purple uh, areas of when the bitcoin halving started in uh, november 2012 it it rose by 8368 percent and right here on the in july 2016 it rose about 4700 percent 
So the next halving, we can anticipate somewhere like 500, 1,000 or 2,000 percent, something like that in the price of Bitcoin over the next 12 to 24 months. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very, very cool to see. And right now we are somewhere in the 47 on our side on a weekly and when we're going to get in an overbought territory for Bitcoin on the, the weekly, this is the time. This is the time to sell to sell Bitcoin. But right now, uh, this is the time I think to accumulate and to buy Bitcoin. So, uh, what else is in the news? We are having the investors for Bitcoin are gaining more and more uh, investments into Bitcoin. Uh, uh, right now, um, the Bitcoin. Uh, positions or right? holder position change hit 75,000 Bitcoin per day. Every day there are more and more, uh, roughly 75,000 Bitcoins are has been added to long-term positions daily. So we see that significant quantities were cashed out during bull markets of Bitcoin and uh, net new positions were accumulated by, by holders. So this is uh, what's called a uh, hodler net position change. More people are accumulating Bitcoin. Uh, the halving awareness heats up the impressive figures built on previous insights from the glass node into investor behavior changes. Uh, as Coin uh, Telegraph reported, whales are also stocking up on coins, while wallet balances of one Bitcoin or more are on the rise. There are more searches right now for Bitcoin than ever before. We see more, more and more people are getting involved. Uh, we're seeing Warren Buffett expert uh, Preston uh, Pish is very bullish about the fortune of Bitcoin. After the halving event, he says it may reach $300,000. And in the recent podcast, he said, I will tell you that I think the next orbit level is $80,000 to $100,000. It's going to go straight through that number. Uh, and it's probably going to go to $200,000 or $300,000. So uh, yeah, pretty significant event for the Bitcoin price. Now, looking at China, where 70% uh, of uh, the miners are, uh, China is currently testing a digital uh, currency, digital yu yuan, and Starbucks and McDonald's and Subway chains, those three American companies are actually <laughs> going to be testing in China the national digital currency in the near future. So China is uh, uh, the first country who is going to issue the digital currency, the digital yuan, which is going to be different than the cryptocurrency, which is decentralized. The digital yuan is centralized, right? So they want that control. It's a communist country uh, of China. So it's going to be different than uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But uh, we are moving to the world where more and more um, transactions are happening from mobile to mobile. Uh, on a cryptocurrency and blockchain networks, people are getting used to that. The new population, the new generation uh, of uh, of people, our kids, uh, the millennials, they're all used to digital and uh, they are going to be adopting the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. So I see a big shift in the next in the next decade into consumer behaviors and into the stores and how we are doing business, how we are transacting. So it's already uh, happening. Now, speaking on miners, um, they're right now a situation where miners uh, have a, a conundrum that they're looking whether to buy new equipment, a more powerful equipment for the mining or to switch off older uh, models and when to switch them on again. OK, and essentially um, they anticipate some drop in the hash power for Bitcoin as at those levels, like a lot of miners who are mining right now with old equipment in order to be uh, in the game, they need to see Bitcoin at least from $7,500 to $13,000 to be in the game. So if Bitcoin is not going to uh, be trading at those levels, a lot of the miners are going to leave temporarily the mining game and switch off their equipment because they're not going they're not be profitable which will create an opportunity for miners who are going to stay in the game they're going to rake up more coins so that's all a game theory it's all uh, going to work out in the end and my and bitcoin halving is proven to raise the price of bitcoin so let's talk about the bitcoin halving uh, less bitcoin being produced may mean greater demand and higher prices 
but to understand just why the community at large is thrilled, we need to take a look at Bitcoin history. Um, so we do have two halvings, 2012, 2016, right? Each four years or 210,000 blocks reduces the amount of Bitcoins that are being produced in each uh, block reward. So that's what I was saying. Miners that run higher electricity costs and those running outdated mining equipment, um, they could reach the, the break even cost could reach $7,600 to $13,000. While new miners may be faster and more efficient, driving mining first to invest in new devices such as mining rigs will actually add additional costs as new mining rigs are expensive and scarce. Halvings are hard enough to prepare for without the compilation of a pandemic that we have. And, and uh, right now there is a delay for the new equipment being produced by China. The coronavirus may uh, make the forthcoming event even more tumultuous than, uh, than ordinary. We have also demand in China surges for Bitcoin as traditional investments, investment measure drops and Bitcoin demand hikes most of the time when the halving event draws closer as many investors expect to reap handsome profits uh, for their holdings. So we are going to see, uh, we are also seeing the institutional investment into Bitcoin is on the rise. Uh, Grayscale, for example, reveals it holds 1.7% of all the Bitcoin in circulation <laughs> and institutional investors seem to be gaining more confidence in Bitcoin and the majority of those uh, people investing into Grayscale are institutional investors, right? So as time goes by, more traditional hedge funds, fund of funds and family offices are starting to see that Bitcoin and digital assets can offer them diversification. The main challenges for them lie in having digital investment products that will pass their compliance checks. Over the last few years, we have seen the digital space mature considerably uh, with several infrastructure improvements that are making Bitcoin more accommodating to professional investors. And while some institutional investors may be looking to bet on Bitcoin on the basis it could theoretically do well in the crisis, managers for the most part want cash, which is by far the safest option. Managers that have been around for a long time understand how to last is because their investors are in the stay rich business, not to get rich. And the environment warrants capital preservation. As risk appetite comes back into the market, I expect Bitcoin to be one of the best opportunities. That said, Matt DeSaus, the CEO of Blockware Solutions and Digital Currency Hedge Fund Manager. So yes, Bitcoin is one of those opportunities and hedge funds understand they need to have a say, they need to have their um, investment and diversification into Bitcoin as if, if they're not going to be there in Bitcoin, then their uh, people are going to be <laughs> very, very mad why you are not there. Um, now, there is an interesting piece of news. 84% of Americans want another stimulus check, according to the new survey. So when you start giving uh, you know, money uh, for free to people, they start to expect it and they want more and more of it. And I think uh, the stimulus check is really helps to prevent a large scale uh, revolutions or as um, you know, trillions of dollars are being put into to bail out those uh, large corporations uh, by the governments and those people who are, um, you know, at staying at home, they, they, they want to receive something. So he, here you go, $1,200 or $2,000 and, uh, and shut your mouth and don't get and, and create a big, um, you know, revolution. But we'll see, we'll see how this will work out in the end uh, and whether they're going to continue giving out those stimulus money uh, to people uh, in the next uh, coming months uh, after six months from now. There's no doubt a lot of people being affected by the uh, coronavirus, uh, but people are starting to get used to it. And bit by bit, I think uh, everything will come back to normal. And uh, also pretty cool news. We have a new app that let uh, businesses take crypto payments directly for the Zoom calls. So the company is called Smart Sessions and it utilizes Ethereum network and smart contracts and essentially it allows you to set up uh, tickets into the Zoom sessions and have people and track it uh, in the smart contract and have people pay for those 
Zoom sessions with cryptocurrencies. So we see more and more developments happening in the Bitcoin and in the crypto space every single week. So that is very, very cool. Um, so coming back to the Bitcoin price, what do you guys think? Are we going to head straight away to the $8,500 level or are we going to have some kind of a weekly red candle? Uh, as you can see a little bit, the volume is declining here on the weekly. So I do think there will be some red week, but so far we are at the six uh, green weeks in a row, but we are just in the middle of the week. Let's see how this week, um, you know, how this week uh, ends, okay? So that's what I want to share with you for today. If you're not part of our community and, and, and our Facebook group, um, please uh, join us at Bitcoin's Walls Club. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with Bitcoin cryptocurrency news. Join us our, our newsletter and learn what are the, uh, the best ways today to generate uh, more profits and more earnings in Bitcoin and in crypto space. It's been Vitaly Dubinin with you. I hope you have a fantastic day and a great uh, weekend. And I'll see you in the next episode of our Today in Crypto show.